Before I start the second bird, just a little update on the first one. Wasn't quite happy with the underside of the head. Uh, it looked a little bit like this. And I want these birds to be quite angelic. So with that in mind and wanting to make the head a little bit better, I've changed the design. So this bird is now an angelic bird floating above, looking down. So that is the change to the head. I hope you can see that. Really happy with that now. I think it's beautiful. So this is the remains of the uh, cutlery that I was given to make these two birds. And I've added just a few pieces of my own stuff, grapefruit spoons, because they really help with the shape of the body on the sides. So the body I'll make in the same way, I think, and the wings will be wider, more flared. And I will use the bicycle gear cogs again so that it's unquestionably a partner bird to this one. Starting a body for bird number two. Need some tail feathers, so I've got these nice patterned handles. I'm going to cut off the forks and spoons. And that is going to make up my tail feathers. something like that in the end. Right, I got my rough wing shape here. I'm going to use these handles for the inner wings. Got five of these for each inner wing. And then these for the outer primary feathers. jig here for bending feathers just two pipes welded onto a bit of flat plate really gently ease this along nice little curve right starting to put the wings together I'm going to start with the inner wings these are all cut to the right length I'm just going to tack weld them in place and they're not going flush, they're going to overlap very slightly, like that. But that's pretty good, I like the shape. Good. Right, that's the other side. Now I've just got to measure, curve, and cut the uh, outer primary feathers using that lot. So these wings, they kind of go up on the inner wing, and they level out a few feathers, and they all sort of congregate around this point here. And then you've got a short primary feather here, and these all start to curl up a little bit on the outside. So First two primary feathers fitted. So the next two. You see it kind of, it's a concave form like that. 
and then as the primary feathers fan out at the edge of the wing they start to bend outwards it's quite important for a realistic look so hopefully you'll be able to see that in the final piece so with that in mind the next feather will be basically flat and then the next two will start to curve outwards right a couple more primary feathers on there if I just go to the edge you'll notice that one of these feathers got a nice curve here but this one here is just it needs twisting very slightly that way so I'm going to twist it from about the halfway point I'm going to use a blowtorch to do that. Good. That has immediately corrected that and made the feathers all a nicer transition. So you've got this flowing kind of curve that concave this way and then out the other way. Very natural looking. So a nice shape to the wing there, obviously quite a bit of clean up to do. A couple more primary feathers to do. One that's a little bit shorter than this one, probably to about there. And then a very short one, kind of sits actually on the top of the wing, on the back, probably about there. Okay, starting to get some idea of what the final wing shape is going to look like. I've got my primary feathers done and shaped and this little top feather as well. But basically the wing is in the shape and the thickness that it's going to be. So what I've got to do now is cut out this cog. So I've made two marks there, so we'll cut that off and we'll shape it. And then I'll know exactly which transitions and where I've got to clean up. So it's going to be just a couple here and a little bit of work in there. Right, so what I've done is I've tack welded this cog to the edge. I'm going to heat this up with a blowtorch so it's red hot. And to avoid putting too many marks in it, I'm going to try pushing this rod down. Made some marks here, but basically, if I push down in a line with the feathers, that should create the perfect curve. That worked really quite well. So on the other bird, I filled up this gap here with weld, so I'll do the same on this one. Well, I'm going to call a halt to this video now. Sorry I didn't get this finished in time for this week's video, but I want to get the video out. I know you've been waiting for it, so I hope you enjoy it. Next week you get to see the end of this bird, and I have to make a hummingbird as well, so you get to see me make one of them. Thanks for watching. Please do consider a like and a subscription. It really does help. Have a nice day.